this is what we're looking for. It's a Japanese tabby, a version of the Douglas DC-3. And it's never a good sign when you're looking for an airplane underwater. And this is how we found it. Yep, upside down on the bottom. There you can see one of the landing gear with the tire still intact after all these years. This was shot down in uh, probably 1944, 45. The landing gear is retracted, so you know it was en route somewhere. It was not coming in for a landing when it was shot down. Following up the fuselage, you can see that the impact was so dramatic that it ripped the cockpit almost off the airplane. You can see that's the cockpit on the right and the fuselage on the left. And there's one of the pilot seats sitting there on the uh, on the ocean floor. This is at about 45 meters. Visibility is not so great here. You can still see the controls in the cockpit. Lots of fish life. They're liking it. That's the wing and the other landing wheel, main wheels. The engines were ripped away probably on impact as well. And there's parts of them laying nearby on the ocean bottom as well. Very heavily damaged in the crash. I really doubt anybody walked away from this one. This is a passenger and cargo airplane. Nothing inside now, except for a bunch of fish. And what looks to be some rice wine bottles. Probably, uh, well, could be second, uh, second war. Moving to the back of the aircraft, you can see the tail wheel. Also in its retracted position. rubber still hanging off of it. The rear of the aircraft, there's the vertical stabilizer and rudder. Here we have the horizontal stabilizer and elevators. Interesting wreck.